Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So there's one more thing I want to cover while we're on the topic of VFDs. In the video a couple weeks ago, we talked about harmonics, power factor, and nonlinear loads, but I didn't really go into what they were. So I want to take a minute. Usually I talk about one topic per video, but these are kind of related, and I'm not going to go into all the detail in math, so it's going to be a fairly short topic. So we're going to answer the question today, what are harmonics, power factor, and nonlinear loads? So let's get started. A harmonic is a wave with a frequency that is a positive integer multiple of the original frequency. In the US, power is 60 hertz. So a third order harmonic of the 60 hertz frequency would be 180 hertz. When their waveforms are added, harmonics distort the shape of the voltage and current form from that of a pure sine wave. Most harmonics in electrical systems are contributed by nonlinear loads, which are loads with varying impedance where current is not proportional to voltage. Let's move this over and make a little room. So resistive loads, like incandescent light bulbs and electric space heaters, are linear loads, so the current and voltage curves look kind of like this. Inductive loads, like motors, are nonlinear loads. You can see it in the waveform from the video from a couple weeks ago. You can see the double bunny ear look of the current load caused by the harmonics. Harmonics are bad because they can cause issues in the building, such as motors running hotter than they should, circuit breakers tripping or fuses blowing, sensitive electronic equipment can fail, and compressor and transformers can fail as well. Okay, let's move all of this over so we can talk about power factor. So what is power factor? Power factor is the ratio of true power of a load to the apparent power. The analogy I see most often is the beer analogy, and it's a pretty good one, so let's stick with that. Imagine a glass of beer with foam on top. So let's draw in some beer, and up here on top is the foam. So the glass is the apparent power. Ideally, you want a full glass of beer with no foam on top, and that would give you a power factor of 1. The beer represents the true power. So if the beer is 90% of your glass and the foam is 10%, the 90% of power is usable. That gives you a power factor of 0.9, and the 10% of unusable power is called reactive power. Electric companies often charge penalties for reactive power because buildings with bad power factors are increasing the current flow through the electric network and causing voltage drops that can affect other customers, so buildings want to have high power factors. And to improve their power factor, they want to reduce harmonics. So now let's bring everything back on screen so that you can see that other screenshot. And now if I bring back in the screenshot from the video from a couple of weeks ago, after we had filtered for harmonics, you can see the difference in the curves. So that is what are harmonics, power factor, and nonlinear loads. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.